Now, if you remember in this picture, I pointed out how this one has that yellow coating around it, and that's going to be an envelope. So animal viruses tend to, a lot of them tend to have that membranous envelope that we're talking about. So what they can do is they can actually use that envelope to kind of get into the cell and inject their, they're not actually injecting their genome, they're kind of doing an endocytosis situation where they're going to dump their contents into the cell. So it's a little bit less of um, a warning kind of thing where your body would recognize it. And the way it works is they use, sorry, um, they use, yeah, we'll do that tonight, um, glycoproteins to do that. So they're basically going to find receptors attached to them and then dump their contents into the host cell. Now, um, what's going to happen is then it can use the, all the stuff inside the cell, just like we've talked about with anything else. But what's crazy is once they um, could reach what we think of as like a lytic cycle, they're actually going to fuse out of the cell and go elsewhere, a bunch of them, right? So it's a lot less intrusive and it's a lot less of a chance that the body is going to recognize it and make antibodies to fight it. Um, okay, now, sometimes you may have heard of viruses causing like major, major amounts of damage, like a lot of the stuff that we have vaccines for, right? So if you think about like um, uh, polio, right? We definitely are scared of polio because what happens is it actually goes after your nerves and it can make you crippled, right? So what happens is nerve cells can't regenerate. So if a virus comes through and just wreaks havoc on those nerve cells and causes them all to pop open and die, there's no way that that's going to come back, right? So that's going to cause some major substantial damage. Whereas if you think about a cold, what a cold virus goes after is like your upper respiratory cells, your epithelial cells, and those are getting replaced all the time. So yeah, you might feel like crap for a couple of days, but those are going to regenerate and then you're going to be completely back to normal. There's no like scarring long-term stuff happening. So Depending on how fast the cells or whether the cells can regenerate, that's going to determine whether they're going to cause massive damage, long-term damage, or just a short-term discomfort. Now, you've heard of vaccines. Those have been in the news a lot. We won't get into the politics of that. But the, what, the way that a vaccine is going to work is it's going to be some sort of harmless variant of a virus that you're going to actually take in order to make your body think that you've had the virus. So what happens is once you've had a virus, those antibodies are going to constantly be in your system. And so you, when that virus comes back in, your antibodies are like, no, no, we know this, you're out, right? And they're going to get rid of it. So you cannot get the same virus twice in theory, right? So um, it, you're probably thinking, but I've had the flu before and I've had a cold, like multiple colds, multiple flus. Well, what that means is those viruses are mutating every season. So you're getting a different mutation. So that's a completely different virus, right? So um, the way vaccines can also work is those receptors, right? Once you've actually attached to them and, you know, injected the virus, then those receptors are also going to have um, things on them that will not allow that virus to reattach. Now, some people ask me, what about a booster shot? Well, what happens with some of those things is that you get the vaccine, you've made those antibodies, but it's been so long that you stop making the antibodies, so you need another booster shot to be like, oh, no, 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 keep making those. We still need to fight this virus, right? So that's how vaccines are going to work. Um, now, retroviruses are going to be an interesting one, and that's going to be um, what HIV is going to be in the category of. So in the next video, we'll talk about how that works.